So everybody's talking about this new feature where you can add a bunch of mixer tracks, but I've gotten a lot of comments saying we need more inserts and slots in each individual track. But there's always been a workaround for this that nobody talks about. So let's say we're maxed out in all of our insert slots. Easiest way to fix that, go to a blank slot and open up this plugin called Patcher. Now inside Patcher, you essentially have an endless and an infinite amount of slots that you can add in here. It's just in a different kind of format. So instead of putting them and stacking them one on top of another, you kind of chain them together. So just right click inside here, add a plugin. Let's say we want parametric EQ2 and then we want a compressor and then we want a delay. We, just, we can go completely random here. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just add all of our effects here. Let's say we want to create a vocal chain with like 15 plugins on it, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but it's possible with Patcher. So let's say we want Pitcher. We want auto-tune first things first. Whatever the first thing that you want to be in that chain, in this case, Pitcher, and then I want it to go into the parametric EQ2, and then I want it to go into the compressor, and then I want that to go into gross beat, and then I want that to go into fruity delay three and then i want that to go into reverb two and now we can keep adding plugins here you can expand that get a better view on it this is your out so whatever the last thing in the chain is it needs to go to fl studio there and then let's say i want the reverb to go into the love filter the love filter to go into pitch shifter <laughs> i'm just going random into hyper chorus into the flanger into parametric eq2 and then finally to top it off we go into the fruity limiter right now it looks like an absolute mess but you can organize this however you want the order of these plugins do matter in the sense of the order is going to affect your sound there is no right or wrong order but just know that it will affect your sound that's why the pitcher is first if you're doing a vocal chain like this and you want to tune something first beforehand before anything else happens in most cases that's what you want pitcher should be first Everything else after that is just personal preference, to be honest. But I put the limiter on last just to get a nice squash on the end. And this is pretty much it. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 plugins here. And like I said, it can be endless, infinite, however you'd like. If you want more tips like this, follow and share this with a friend if you get me.